Hello everyone, Ranjita here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another interesting video. Transformy sheets are the new trending products among crafters. You would have seen loads of inspiration and lots of videos all around YouTube showing how to use them on different surfaces like wood, plastic, glass, etc. But today I am here to demonstrate how to use these beautiful transformy sheets on paper. I am going to show you how you can quickly make a tag and a bookmark using these transformy sheets. So let's get started. For today's project, I am taking a tag and a bookmark that are cut out out of watercolor paper. This is 300 GSM cold pressed watercolor paper. Along with that, I also have cutouts of transformy sheets. And then I am also taking some cute stamps to just beautify my tag and bookmark which is completely optional. I also have a cup of clean water and a sponge to dab water onto my transformy sheets. So before using the transformy sheets, I just wanted to add some ink to my background of this tag and bookmark because I didn't want to uh, make it too plain. I also wanted to show you how it goes well with other mediums also. However, this is entirely optional. You can just go around with plain tags also. But all I wanted to mention is wherever you're planning to have your transformy sheets, prefer having a white background there because transformy sheets give their best results when used against a white background. So I'm carefully checking out where I want to pl place my uh, bunch of flowers and I'm just inking up the area around that area and I'm not uh, inking up the area where I'm going to place my uh, transformy sheets. To add some more interest to my background, I'm taking this uh, simple script uh, stamp here and I'm just randomly stamping it all over my tag using archival jet black ink. I'm using archival ink here because I will be using some water on my tag and I didn't want my ink to accidentally bleed. So here I'm using a waterproof ink that is Ranger's archival black ink. I'm not adding too much onto my background. I just wanted a very very subtle texture onto my background that would go well with my bunch of flowers of transformy sheets. So here as you can see here, I'm carefully fussy cutting this transformy sheet here. Make sure that you cut it as close as possible to the design and do not disturb the design as such. Now you can see there is a clear plastic on this design. I am carefully peeling it off. Once you peel off, make sure that you don't smudge it with your fingers. Now I am placing it on one side and I am carefully uh, adhering it from one side to the other end so that there are no bubbles formed. You can also uh, stick it all at once but make sure that once it sticks to the paper it is stuck. You cannot move it after that. So in order to avoid bubbles I will stick it on one side and then slowly push it to the other side. This way I can avoid maximum bubbles. Now I am taking a clean sponge dabbing it in water and then I am just dabbing that wet sponge on this transformy sheet. This is why I clearly mentioned that you need to use watercolor paper, at least 300 GSM. You can also try out this with regular cardstock, but what happens is not all cardstocks are friendly with water. So as you can see here, once I carefully peel it off, this design is beautifully transferred onto my tag. Quick and easy, isn't it? Now let's move ahead and make the bookmark also. So just like I did for the tag, here also I am just fussy cutting carefully this bunch of red roses here. I am just making sure that the bunch fits along the width of my bookmark. Once I am happy with my fussy cutting, I am just adding a little more interest to my bookmark by stamping a beautiful coat onto it. I am again using the same archival ink because I wanted a waterproof ink and I am making sure that the impression comes well because since it is watercolor paper it is textured and most of the time your impressions don't come well so I am pressing it hard enough so that the impressions are well. I am again having that uh, script stamp and I am just randomly stamping it along the background and now I am going over with distress oxides and just adding a subtle hint of color all around my background. Like I told you, it is best to have a white background wherever you're planning to have your transformy sheets. So I'm just adding a subtle hint of color 
pink and in green shade all around the bookmark making sure that I do not add too much ink where I am planning to have my transformation sheet. However, you can skip this entire step of blending and stamping. All you can do is just take a plain sheet of paper and write a handwritten code and use your transformation sheets that would do great as well. Now as you can see here, I have peeled off the clear plastic layer. I am firmly adhering it from one side to the other. This is the best way to make sure that there are no bubbles trapped. However, this would not be a problem with such small designs but in case if you are uh, trying to transfer it on a large uh, area, then it is always better to come from one side to the other. Now I am taking a damp sponge and wetting the surface of transforming sheet here. As you can see, the moment it comes in contact with water, you can see the image getting transferred. Now I am going to carefully slide off the top paper. This is the best part where you can see the image getting transferred. You can either peel off the top layer or you can slide it off as I have shown here. Beautifully transferred isn't it? So now that our bookmark is completely done, now let's go and add a little uh, sentiment onto this gift tag here. I've stamped a small sentiment that says just for you and I'm just slightly inking it just to add a little depth to the sentiment. Now I'm going to adhere it onto this gift tag using some double sided foam adhesive. If you do not have such stamps you can always hand letter or you can take printouts and stick it like this. Beautiful isn't it? You can see the close up images of the finished tag and bookmark here. I really liked how beautiful these transforming sheets are when they are transferred onto paper. I am sure you like this and you will definitely give this a try. If you once start using transforming sheets, I am sure you are not going to stop it with one project. This was my take on transforming sheets as a card maker and paper crafter. I hope you liked it and you will also definitely give it a try. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I was of some inspiration to you. Don't forget to follow me on my social media where I share much more craft inspiration with you. All the links are given in the description box below. Thank you.